Hey guys. So in this video, we will show you our key moving average trading strategy that will help take your trading to the next level. Make sure to click the subscribe button and to hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when we release new content. So from looking at the comments, a topic that has been requested many times is how to use moving averages. Also right now, comment below and tell us what topics you want us to cover as we always look at the comments to decide what to create next. So first, what are moving averages? By definition, the moving average is an indicator that is applied to your charts that helps smooth out price by removing the swings and fluctuations surrounding the price movement in question. Now, don't think too hard about this because the key way we show you how to use moving averages is more important. So the specific moving average we use is the exponential moving average with a length of 50, meaning the 50 EMA. So from whichever charting and trading platform you are using, go to your indicators, find the exponential moving average and add it to your charts. Set the length to 50. Now, this is a very key point you must understand when using indicators. We never use indicators on their own for trade analysis or trade entries. We only use them to confirm and support what we have already established with price action. So why do we use moving averages? The first reason is because moving averages can act as supporting evidence of a bullish market, a bearish market, or a sideways market. When the 50 EMA is above price, it represents a possible bearish market and a downtrend. When the 50 EMA is below price, it represents a possible bullish market and an uptrend. When the 50 EMA is going right through price, it represents a directionless sideways market or a period of consolidation. The second reason we use moving averages is because a break through the moving average line can signal a possible trend change. Notice how we were in a downtrend and once price broke through the moving average line, we had a trend change to an uptrend. Same thing in an uptrend. Once price broke through the moving average line, a trend change occurred to a downtrend. The third reason we use moving averages is because they can act as a form of support or resistance. Price is in a bullish uptrend. And if you get price action through candlestick formations at the 50 EMA, it shows that price is indeed reacting to the 50 EMA as support and can signal a possible trend continuation long. Now, in the opposite direction, price is in a bearish downtrend. And if you get price action through candlestick formations at the 50 EMA, it shows that price is indeed reacting to the 50 EMA and can signal a possible trend continuation short. Now, the most important point in regards to these concepts is that we use them as ideologies and not the law, because again, we do not use moving averages on their own for trade entries. We pair them with what we have already established with price action to increase trade quality. Now, let's get into how to use the 50 EMA in your trading process. Now we're going to add the usage of the 50 EMA on top of all past concepts we have showed you in previous videos. So there are two ways we use the 50 EMA inside of our trading, which is one for trend trading and two for reversal trading. So let's start with the first, which is trend trading. So here is the daily time frame. First, you would have established that this is a clear moving uptrend as price was making higher highs and higher lows. So you want to trade with the moving uptrend. Next, you would have identified your area of support through these two reactions here. Now, what made this level even better and an area of confluence is that the 50 EMA was also right at this area as well. Now, as price was approaching this area, you were looking to see if there would be price action occurring at this area before deciding on a trade or not. What you got was two great candlestick formations where the wicks were sticking out and an inside bar, which shows a reaction to the area of support and the 50 EMA. Again, a reaction does not equal a trade as price can stall at the 50 EMA and support level and still break right through. As a reminder, even though your big picture trend is an uptrend, your short term trend is a downtrend and can continue on. So you need confirmation that the short term downtrend is over. 
So just like in our previous video, what you do is you put a trend line on top of this moving downtrend and wait for a break through the trend line. And once you have that break, you start looking for long entries. Now for us, we always like to look for more detail and confirmation inside of this immediate downtrend. So let's put both the daily and four hour time frame side by side. So here on the left is your daily time frame, and here on the right is your four hour time frame. Here's your daily support level, and here is the same support level. Here's your daily trend line, and here is your same trend line. Now on this time frame, you can clearly see all the rejections of the trend line before you had a very bullish candle that broke through the trend line, and more importantly, a close outside of the trend line. The massive bullish candle shows that buyers actually stepped in and confirms the two candles on the daily time frame. This is when you had confirmation that the short term downtrend is over and that the bigger uptrend can continue. You would then start looking for long trades through the lower time frames with a breakout or a momentum play as your directional bias is now confirmed. The most important part is that this all occurred after the reaction to the area of confluence because you needed traders to enter long and short traders to close their positions to create upwards momentum. So moving on. So here on the daily time frame, you have a clear moving uptrend as prices making higher highs and higher lows. So you want to trade with the moving uptrend. Next, you had your very key level of support. And think back to our video about support and resistance levels, where we talked about evaluating the quality of a level based on how many traits it has. And this level has a few. First, you had multiple reactions to the level. Second, this level acted as both support and resistance. And third, it was recently respected here, meaning that this point is still valid in a recent time period. All these factors make this a very key level. Next, you had this very key trend line with multiple reactions to it in the past. Here was your access point and area of high confluence as you had your key trend line, your key support level, and the 50 EMA all intersecting perfectly. Now let's zoom in a bit to get a better look at the area of focus. So as price was approaching this access point and area of high confluence, you were watching to see if you would get price action forming and reacting to this level. What you got were these two great candlesticks with the wicks sticking out, but again, still no trade because a reaction does not equal a trade as price can stall and still break right through. As you should already know, you then put your trend line above the current moving downtrend. And once you had your break through the short term trend line like this, it confirms all your previous analysis and that the short term downtrend is over and that the bigger uptrend can continue. You then start looking for intraday entries through a breakout or a momentum play. Now for us, we like to take earlier entries. So what we do is we put a tight trend line onto this immediate downtrend like this and go to the four hour time frame and look for a trend change to take an earlier and tighter entry. So let's put the four hour time frame beside the daily time frame. So here on the left is your daily time frame. And here on the right is your four hour time frame. Here's the daily support level. Here's the same support level. Here's the daily trend line. Here's the same trend line. Here's the short term trend line. Here's the same short term trend line. Here's the access point. Here's the same access point. And once you had your break through the short term trend line, your directional bias is confirmed as long, and you would go to the lower time frames and start looking for long entries through breakouts and momentum plays. Now, as a reminder, the most important part is that this all occurred after reaching and reacting to an area of high confluence, as you needed all those different schools of traders to enter the market in order to create upwards momentum. And what you are doing is riding the momentum for your trade. So now that you understand trend trading with the 50 EMA, let's move on to reversal trading. And before we continue, if you're enjoying us releasing new videos more often, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and to comment below right now with your questions and thoughts as this lets us know you want more videos. So here on the daily time frame, you first had your trend line drawn right here. You had your clear moving uptrend through higher highs and higher lows before you had your trend line break and a break through the 50 EMA, which was your first signal of a possible trend change. Price then made a lower low, which was another signal of a trend change. Next, here was your key resistance level that acted as both support and resistance in the past. This here was then your access point where key resistance and the 50 EMA both lined up. 
Now, as price came up to this access point, you had a picture perfect, very long wick candle that reacted to both the key resistance level and the 50 EMA. But again, a reaction does not equal a trade short. So what we do is we put a tight trend line in and go down to the four hour time frame. So let's put the daily and four hour time frame side by side. So here on the left is your daily time frame, and here on the right is your four hour time frame. Here is the resistance level on the daily time frame. And here is the same resistance level on the four hour time frame. Here's the daily long term trend line. Here's the same long term trend line. Here's the daily short term trend line. Here's the same short term trend line. And here's your access point. Here's the same access point. Now, once you had your break of the short term trend line, this shows that the pullback is over. And once price made the lower low, you can start looking for short entries and start taking breakout or momentum entries through the lower time frames as your directional bias is confirmed. Again, the most important part was the big picture trend change through the break of the trend line combined with the pullback reaction to an area of high confluence. So moving on. Now in this example, we're going to take this up a notch and use the 50 EMA through the intraday timeframes for a more aggressive early entry. So here in the daily timeframe, you had your clear moving downtrend as price was making lower highs and lower lows. You then would have had your long term trend line drawn in like this. Price then broke the trend line with a candle close outside of the trend line, which is the first signal of a trend change and giving you a short term bullish bias. Now, your traditional entry using the previous strategy we showed you would look like this. You would draw your key support level here because of these three points and wait for a pullback and rejection of this support level. You would then put the short term trend line above. And once you had your breakout, you would look for possible long entries and that would be perfectly fine. Now, here's where we take it up a notch. Our entry into this trade came right at this break here, but exclusively through the four hour time frame. So let's put the two time frames side by side. Here on the left is your daily time frame, and here on the right is your four hour time frame. Here's the daily long term trend line. Here's the same long term trend line. This area here where the breakout candle occurred is the same area here on the four hour time frame. But as you can see, there is a lot more detail that we can see on this time frame. So let's go through step by step what went through our mind. One, on the daily time frame, we noticed that price broke through the long term trend line and had a candle close outside of the long term trend line to give us our short term bullish directional bias. Two. This here is already a current moving uptrend as price is making higher highs and higher lows, and we want to be trading with the uptrend momentum. Three, here was your intraday support level as you had multiple reactions right here, so you had it drawn in. Four, here was your trend line because of these two points here, and you had it drawn stretched out further. Five, and the most important part, you had your access point here an area of high confluence because the support level and the trend line and the 50 EMA and the backside of the long term trend line all intersect perfectly. Now, as price approached this access point, we were looking for price action, which we got through these two great candlestick formations where the wicks were sticking out, showing that price is indeed reacting to everything at this area of high confluence and all its traits. You then put your very short term trend line on top of the short term pullback. And once price broke out, you go to the lower time frames and start looking for breakout or momentum entries long as your directional bias is now confirmed. Remember that the most important part of this quick intraday entry was because of the long term trend line break on the daily with a candle close outside and then confirmed through the intraday price action entry. Again, these concepts will continue to get deeper and deeper as we build on all past videos. So make sure you are all caught up. Now, if you want to learn more about our exact intraday entry strategies, head on over to our website at wisetrade.com. So if you are enjoying this new format of more frequent video releases, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and comment below right now and let us know your thoughts and questions as we love hearing from you all. And it lets us know that you want more videos more often. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.